Hey Toy Fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and this time it is the Mez oh, Mezco 112 Collective Popeye and Bluto Stormy Sees Ahead Deluxe Box Set. Uh, it's a two pack and if anybody's watched my channel for any uh, amount of time you know that two packs are my favorite uh, types of figures regardless of what brand it is. I just love, uh, I don't know, since I was a kid I just love the idea of getting like two figures in the same package be it like a a figure in a mount or rivals or like the uh the the brothers and gi joe and Zomax and, Ta and tamat um but other than that um this is looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool package on the front we got popeye and bluto uh age-old rivals from uh the old cartoons on the back it looks like they're actually getting into some comic book action with some kapows uh pow kabooms and bams so that's pretty cool uh, on the side gotta you know hit me right in the chops pick that's pretty cool i think it's on on both sides so bluto's asking for it uh, on top the mezco 112 collective stamp on the bottom some licensing stuff anyways let's get into the figure see what we got um this was a uh, Christmas gift, so I am uh, very pleased that I have finally some time to open it. Usually don't have that much free time, so whenever I get some time to look at a new toy and, and enjoy it, it's uh, it's a treat. So how do I get into this guy? It looks like looks like he's got some tape up top, which is interesting. So I'm just gonna slice right there. I don't really want to cut what is going on here. I don't want to cut the box. Uh, that tape just did not want to go. It looks like it's on two of the four sides. Might be all four sides for all I know. But anyways, see if I can get in here without too much trouble. Is that it? I think so. All right. Oh. It up and one, two, three. oh, that is a hefty, hefty ordeal. And it looks like we got uh, the stars of the package ready to go, and already some of the other accessories are falling out because the thing is is already uh, jam packed. And, can see from the back there's a lot of hands and whatnot so man everything is just can't wait to get out apparently um wow lots of accessories lots of hands looks like uh weights and wrenches and uh, telescopes it's pretty cool so we'll get the package out of the way for a minute and start with the figures this is all Pretty neat. Let's see. But anybody, uh, I don't know about kids nowadays, but um, when I was growing up, uh, Popeye was always on. Um, be it early mornings or just whenever you need to fill a time slot with a uh, with a short, uh, ten minute short, uh, Popeye was a lot of fun. Uh, the horrifying kids movie with with Robin Williams was also fun growing up. Uh, but okay, one of the hats is falling out, but let's get out Popeye. So if you don't know who Popeye the Sailor Man is, he uh, is the original, like, uh, just, he's pretty much in a, in a pretty all right mood. Like he's, he's happy to be hanging out, you know, with olive oil and um, lending his buddy, uh, his buddy Wimpy some, some money. <laughs> um, but uh, he'll gladly pay him back on Tuesday. And... Check this out, it's the, the blue and white uh, coloration of his outfit. Looks like mine's got a little fold on the back, but nothing too uh, too crazy. Um, these forearms are, there's, those are some Popeye forearms and he's got his, his old anchors on there. Um, let's see, it's not, he's not that big. Um, Guess he's the six inch scale, but he's, you know, uh, 
Well, he's not that big of a character just in general. He's just uh, he's just a brute when he has his spinach and and lay and is laying somebody out. And there's just a ton of uh, if you've never gone back to watch some of the old Popeye cartoons, it's pretty. There's a lot of fun stuff. Like they got like Arabian Nights stuff. They they put him in all kinds of scenarios, and uh, he's a hero and just ends up punching his way out of whatever uh, he needs to. Um, let's see if this hat it just fell out, just fits on. Oh. That's pretty cool. He's got a little beanie. And he stands pretty nicely. And let's see what we got here. Oh, Bluto is um, just a solid piece of piece of meat. Oh, this plastic is, is heavy duty. His pants are pretty cool, kind of drooping, but he's got like a, uh, he's got a belt on. That's pretty neat. Um, does it, it's a plastic uh, buckle, but eh, it's still pretty cool. Um, I don't know what's up with that. Looks like you can kind of see through his shirt. No kind of material. Oh, it's it's like a felt. It's interesting. Um, and he's got looks like a white long johns underneath. Um, I'm loving that, loving that angry grimace. That's uh, it's pretty cool. Let's see. Get that to focus a little. Yeah, look at that. He is, he is pretty, uh, pretty angry, and and Popeye has got his Popeye face. Neither of these guys are just lookers, but that's pretty cool. They're just, just brawlers. So let's, uh, oh, focus that a little bit more. Okay. See what else is in the package. We got a lot to get to. A um, couple of different heads here for Popeye. Oh man, Popeye's got like a uh, super bruised, bruised chin, lesions on his face, black eye, broken nose. He uh, got taken to the ringer with that one. Uh, what else has he got here? Oh. Just an uh, squinted eye. Let's see. Hmm. Can you get a focus here? Well, get the gist of it. He's just a. Uh, I don't know how. How this face is. Well, I guess. I don't know. They're both pretty good, but this one is it's got I guess some some teeth showing here. There we go. And this one does not. I don't know, but I really uh I really like that banged up face, so <laughs> might be might be a lot of swapping going on with uh with that. Um let me just pull all this stuff out and then Get this piece out the way. Oh, I can tell I'm not gonna be able to put these guys down. They seem like a lot of fun already, and I haven't even haven't even uh, scratched the surface of what's in this package. Um, okay. Uh, we got a, uh, a battered Bluto head. That's pretty cool. Um, my favorite bit is always just taking off <laughs> that Mezco uh, pop. Always it gets me every time. But Pluto's had uh, had a night of it with uh, getting into a scrap with this face. Um, it's a good one. I kind of like his his angry grimace a bit more. Just he looks like he's ready for business there. Um couple of different hats this is a, this is pretty fun for Popeye he has what looks like just a uh, a sailor hat of some sort and not sure what's looks like a magnet and the uh, top of there I don't know if this is meant for a, a head in particular oh it is there is a a magnet in the top of in all of them? Hmm. 
If it is, it's not that strong. Oh, it is. I guess so. I guess there's a magnet in all three of these, all three of these heads. So that's pretty cool. It's got a sailor hat and. Does the beanie have the magnet too? No, the beanie doesn't, but the, uh, so that's pretty fun. So you can just do all kinds of crazy stuff with, uh, cock the hat any way you want. Not sure which way's front or back with this one, but that is a lot of fun. And it's just kind of just hanging there with the magnet there. Not something I, I, uh, knew, but I don't watch too many, um, of the reviews ahead of time so I can get my, uh, Raw reactions when I open these because they're a lot of fun, you know. So you know, there's there's tons of uh, reviews and of the ones I do watch, I really like the amazing. He's he does some really good stuff. There's no beating that for reviews and photos and whatnot. Um, but yeah, like I just I just like unboxing these guys because they're they're a lot of fun. Um, let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Bluto had came with a hat, and I forgot. To, oh, he's got the magnet too. So, wow, they went all out with uh, with this two pack. There's a lot of stuff here, but I haven't gotten any of the other Popeye releases. So this might be just old hat for uh, no pun intended for uh, some people who have got every one of the Popeye releases. But um, everybody knows this is one of the better figures that Mezco has made. Um, and when this, uh, tooth pack was announced, I knew I couldn't miss on this one. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. It's actually a metal wrench, so have to swap out a hand to get, uh, Bluto to hold this. That's pretty cool. Um, most importantly, the 112 Collective bags, um, comes in handy in a pinch. What else do we got here? Oh, looks like five different pipes for smoking um pop this open so see if uh popeye can get one of these we'll get one of the ones without the smoke and see how it works oh looks like there's just a hole i don't want to break it but just pop that in and that's pretty neat oh not sure. It's like super, super thin. Um, not comfortable with just like jamming it in his mouth, but there's a peg hole that would be cool. Uh, oh, I guess it does. It does snap right in. Man, even that felt cool. Like, kind of felt like a miniature version of the of the head pop. So. No noise, but it did, uh, was satisfying to do. Um, man, that's so cool. I and I don't know, I'm going to go with the, the black beanie for now, just because, um, wow, just, just a lot of fun. Um, seal these back up because I got a feeling, um, I'm just going to hit it and I will never find these again. This might be one of the smaller accessories that Mesco's ever made, um, pack of uh, pack of pipes uh, we got some hands for Bluto some pair of like gripping or clawing hands choking and these are his holding stuff hands let's see oh there's his hat let's see how Ooh, ooh, that's a, it's a thick one. It's got a pretty thick peg. So let's go ahead and go with uh, the big old choking hand in one, and the holding stuff hand in the other. So that's pretty cool. Get this wrench. See where the wrench fits. I guess the wrench goes in the smaller of the two not a hundred percent sure but man that is 
pretty crazy. Um, it's got a meat hook. So he's just gonna do some damage to Popeye if, uh, if he gets him with any of any of this stuff. A wrench, a meat hook. Wow. The um, does the other hand have open? Let's see how this meat hook works. Guess you can. Uh, I guess I'd put it in. Fingers split just a little bit. Yeah, they do. Wow. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. It's kind of got a, uh, it's like, he's, um, I don't know if this was the Hulk body because I didn't get any of the Hulks, the Hulk they released, but he's kind of like, got squat legs and a, and a big torso. Um, not sure if there's any articulation up top. It's got these double shirts on, so I really can't feel it. But, man, this meat hook is really cool. I'm really enjoying that. Let's see. Okay, yeah, he's got some, some elbow articulation. Don't want to... I want to break it right out of the package. I'm not sure if this is even the proper hand that he's supposed to be holding it with. Let me look at the other hand. Hmm. I guess he's got a split in in both of the hands where the uh, the middle finger would be to perhaps hold this. So let me try the other hand. Wow, this is a, it's a lot of fun. These, um, anybody, anybody who watches my channel knows I'm, I love me some Mezcos, but, uh, two top quality, uh, Mezco figures at the same time is pretty, uh, pretty entertaining for me, at the very least. Sorry, uh, if you're not enjoying it as much as I am, but these are new toys for me, so I will, uh. I will get my kicks where I can. Hmm. I feel like the other hand had a better go of it, so I'm not gonna not gonna force what it too, force it too much. But he also has. Oh, that's pretty cool. He's got some weight dumbbells, and they are uh, actually solid metal, so that's pretty neat. Man, I'm telling you, he's gonna do some damage to somebody if he's just. Swinging dumbbells and what's it say? It says 300, uh, 300 lubs, 300 pounds, and uh, it's got this wrench and the meat hook. Man, Pluto is uh, he is gooning it up, king of the king of the thugs. He's even got his collar popped like he's uh, got bad intentions. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see if I can fix this collar real quick, but. Not a big deal, one way or the other. Um, where does hat go? Yeah. Man, I am, uh, I am digging that. And <laughs> look at the size comparison between him and the Popeye. This is uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, other type of hands is Popeye. I mean, it looks like he has an open hand. It's interesting. He's got a point in hand, a whole point in finger. Um, even his, even his hands, they've got like, uh, they got some grime in those fingers, man. Popeye's been doing some work. Let's see if I can. There we go. Look at that! Look at the grime in those fingers, man. He's he does his own work, man. He's not a. Uh, He's not messing around. Um, he's got a set of that of those types of fingers, and when it, when it's looking like he's gonna grip some stuff, choke out choke out a dude, or just uh, squeeze something, he's got um, 
He's got a set of fingers there. Here is, oh man, this is cool. He's got an articulated uh, watch, that pocket watch that kind of opens. It's got a hook right up top, I guess, if you want to put a loop in there of some sort. But man, sorry, my, my finger's in the way. But that is pretty uh, solid. There's even a little bit of paint in there. Um, it's got like a red, red wash or just red paint inside of that silver background for the, for the watch, which I'm guessing is for Popeye. Let's pop out one of these hands and make them open. <laughs> Let's see. Man, there is just like no wrist on this Popeye. He is just, he, he's all forearm uh let's see oh okay is this a watch or is it a compass oh it's actually a compass here i am thinking it's a watch but i guess i just look a little bit more and uh that's pretty cool smoking his pipe finding out where he is on his ship and uh and doing and doing uh, whatever work he's got to. Oh man, that was neat. Didn't even uh, didn't even get it out of the package before the uh, the, the telescope just kind of uh, articulated itself. So that's <laughs> you talk about just doing something to the nines. Um, they <laughs> really. I wouldn't be surprised if I could actually look at the stars of this thing. You know, just. This is uh, pretty crazy. So we're probably a real magnifying glass in there. But um, kind of, what other hand did he have? I'm guessing the only gripping hands are these two. So how is he going to hold? I'm guessing the telescope's also held with this hand. Sorry if it's. Uh, if it's got a different name, I know nothing about nautical adventures or whatnot. So, anyways, see a kind of articulation we can get here. Does he's is his hand? No, I'm pretty much pretty much doing it to the max there. So let's see. Oh no, I'm lying. So Popeye is going to be taking a look at something coming, and that's pretty cool. He's going to uh, spot, spot Bluto and probably walk in the other direction if I was him. That's the smart thing to do. But he is a... Uh, a mean scrapper so uh, that's probably not his way and especially if he gets his hands on his old trusty uh, his old trusty spinach so for uh, for those of you who don't know and I'm sure you do at this point if you've watched this far and you're not a uh, fan of Popeye's but um, Popeye whenever uh, he's taking his licks he eats his spinach comes with a can of spinach and the spinach gives him like a boost of superhuman strength and then he uh then he goes ham on whoever uh and usually it's bluto but whoever it's giving him uh trouble and this is pretty cool he's got he smashes the the spinach and it usually just flies into his mouth and then he's ready for uh, to put in that work. Let's see. Hmm. Back to one of the fist. Wow, these guys are are both just going to be a lot of fun just to to mess around with. 
put it on my shelf, and God, just the uh, just the faces and and the accessories alone. It's just like you don't even got to be good at posing because I'm really not. Um, just just having some fun with them, you know. That is a uh, quality quality uh, figure so far. I can tell. Um, his boots are pretty cool. Looks like he's got some laces. It's not they're just molded. It's not like uh, soft goods or anything like that. But it does uh, it is pleasing to the eye. It's got some brown some worn brown leather. Um, that's pretty cool. And man, this is Bluto. He's just, he's a lot of dude. Okay. Uh, maybe that's, there we go. A little farther down the shaft just so it doesn't stretch out the fingers too much. But man, he just feels like a whole lot of dude. And walking around with just some weights and a wrench, Popeye's got his he's got his best his best spinach, and they are uh, they are in for a street fight or death match. Uh, the world's not ready for it. <laughs> I. I appreciate the uh, the flight stands. Um, I'm guessing you can get some some good aerial combat. I don't know if this one's gonna hold uh, Bluto's weight because uh, you know these things are these things are awesome, and I love that they pack them in. But um, he's a big old boy. Um, I don't know unless maybe you're just posing them on one foot. So, oh man, some uh, so much stuff in here. I forgot what else was. What's coming with and this is this is pretty neat he uh popeye comes with a raincoat and it's kind of got a little shininess to it it's like a little little pleather feel and it's got some velcro um that's pretty neat and a so we'll go along with his slicker. He has a rain hat. Man, Popeye's hat game is out of control. This is uh, the fourth hat in, the, in this box set. Well, and Bluto's got one of his own, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's like the bill is flipped up. Not sure which way this is supposed to go. I'm guessing it's... Bill is flipped up and I don't know. There's usually, you know, reference photos on the box, but yeah, I think that's the right way. Not sure if this is just supposed to flip down. Okay, flip down. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure what the, the way this hat is supposed to go but that was flipped up and let's see <laughs> not my favorite look of uh of the bunch so far but um it's cool that they included it uh let's see what else we got here hmm that elbow's a little bit loose not sure if uh, if it comes out or not, but let's see. How does? Oh, let me take out this hand real quick. Got this other hand, and see about putting this raincoat on. Just cause, probably not gonna be the way I leave them, but. Got a, got a new accessory, got to play with it for a second. Okay. We're not seem to go on 
fairly with some ease. It's a little tight because of those forearms, but what are you going to do? Mm, gonna put his hands through is what I'm going to do. Gripping hand. And um, back to that spinach. And oh, man, even even sideways and hanging off, it, it really is cool. Sorry about that. Sorry, I just get lost in the uh, in the plan while I'm trying to record and show you guys some stuff. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so far, a little disappointed by the uh, the the raincoat hat. Um, because it's just kind of popping popping off. I thought it. I think from. Some of the original pictures I seen uh, thought it would it looked pretty cool, but you know it's a neat it's a neat add-in regardless. But this is pretty cool. Um, and he's got a pea coat, which might be the way I display him. To be honest, um, I like the I like the look of that. Kind of wish he came with blue pants instead of the white, but he's still pretty dang awesome regardless and wow that's interesting kind of like uh not really wool but it's not the material i thought it would be let's see shut up much just trying to record a video anyways it's got a velcro on the inside of there swap this out real quick Man, this this Popeye, he is a pretty fun fig, and he is going to go into this coat. Let's see, kind of got like it's weird. It's it's not wool. It's got like just a it's like a felt feel to it. Um, Definitely not the pleather of the uh, of the raincoat. Let's see. Got that on almost. Don't want to rip anything or break anything. Um, usually you're pretty safe with these. You maybe you've got like an iron grip or something, but I've been pretty uh, pretty lucky without any breakages on on these guys. I've definitely broken uh, more neckers by just breathing on them than I have by some of the manhandling I've done of uh, these Mesco figures. But, you know, that's not here nor there. Um, wow, this is all loaded on there. And, let's see. Some of that action. And, or you know what? I'll put some finger pointing uh, and what do we got a open hand hmm probably can maneuver this a bit better but definitely uh a bit of fun maybe the closed hand gives him a little more authority the fist Let's see if I can get this peacoat closed a little bit better I feel like it could sit on the shoulders a little bit better but you get the gist of it he's uh he's gonna be pointing at Bluto telling him not to, to watch where he's Pointing those weights in that wrench. 
Um, and I don't blame him. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of hostile, uh, looking stuff going on here. And, oh, this is cool. He comes with a, uh, looks like a bag with his name on it, so. Kind of a, just a little drawstring. Um, feels kind of like a wire, though, so that's kind of neat, so. And you can put all kinds of stuff in here, like his extra hands. You know how, how one does when he carries around his uh, extra body parts um, in a sack with his spinach and his um, not watch, pocket watch. Uh, and the telescope. Yeah, it all fits in there. Um, extra hat. Another extra hat. I guess the only thing you're not fitting in there is the heads. But, yeah, what are you going to do? You can do worse. And that's pretty cool. It all fit in there. Um, except for the open spinach. But you don't want any open food in your backpack. Probably uh, not a good look. And... Outside of uh, Bluto's, looks like Bluto got some Pico too, and two anchor stands, um, identical. Guess they had a they had a cut cost somewhere. <laughs> there it is, the identical bastards with their identical foot stands. That's where they drew the line, I guess. No uh, individualized stands for each, but I'll cut them some slack. Um, all pretty cool. Let's finally take a look at Bluto's. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. His is like a uh, like a faux leather, so that's neat. Um, well, he's probably gonna have to come off anyway. Get this out of his hand. Put a hole right through my table with that uh, with that weight. The wife would not be pleased, more than likely. Um, that's cool. That, that is a big old strip of Velcro that was uh, fairly strong. Um, and see how menacing uh, this bully looks with uh, this big this big leather coat. Man. Okay, let's see. I was just okay. There it is. Hmm. It's actually a little snug, but doesn't feel like it's gonna rip. There's enough uh, enough room to to work it all out. Kind of got the uh, looser. This vibe than the uh, the Popeyes. Let's see. His hand is just. I don't know if I if I pinch. Oh, there it goes. I was gonna say I think I pinched it when I put the hand on. Not sure which way is which, but anyways. Yeah, let's just put a fist on him. Wow. And then close this sucker up. And man, what a, uh, what a fun release. I mean, uh, I am, uh, this was, uh, this was a gift from my daughter, so I'm, uh, pleased that um, Christmas was uh, was nice this year and brought some mescos. So anytime Santa leaves some mescos underneath the tree, it's not a, not a bad look at all. And uh, could do worse. Man, they just look cool in these coats. This is a, this is a serious, serious release. Um, 
kudos to Metzko. I'm really, uh, really enjoying this. I'm probably going to stay up a little bit too late tonight posing these guys and uh, before I put them on a shelf. They might not might make their way to my shelf for um, a little bit until I figure out what kind of the configuration I want to leave them in. But man, what a what a fun release! Um, like on paper, you might think, yeah, who needs a Popeye and Bluto two pack? But boy, in hand, is, especially if you've ever watched these growing up, like Popeye cartoons, they're just they're a lot of fun, you know. Um, do yourself a favor and just go, go watch a couple of clips on YouTube if you haven't before. He's ridiculous and probably dated and timely, but if you grew up with it, it is uh it's a lot of fun. Um you know, he's he's just beating up a bad guy, trying to woo uh a girl and you know, eating some hamburgers with uh with his buddy and getting into all kinds of hijinks, you know. So he's just living that hermit lifestyle and and stuff uh, kind of just, you know, adventures find him. But let's see. I think if there's going to be any Mezco crossovers for me, one of them will be uh, with the uh, the good Baron himself, Baron Benz, and the scale. I mean, let me stand him up a little bit straighter. But he's still, he's still a short guy uh, next to the Baron. And Bluto just towers over the Baron, even with the Baron's elongated head. So that's uh, that's pretty cool, you know. If they're out at uh, out at sea, could get some Jack Kirby esque Baron Ben's adventure. That'd be pretty neat. Or if you don't have a um, a shark, you could do worse than. The McFarland robot shark to uh, have some uh, spinach eating adventures. Tell him that shark to, you know, put him in his place or whatnot. So, a lot of fun. Um, a lot of be fun to be had all around with uh, with his Popeye. Um, like I said, probably uh, gonna be messing around with him for a good bit before uh, before I put him away. But anyways. Um, a little bit on the pricier side, but um, if you're gonna treat yourself, do it right. Pick up, uh, pick this setup. It's it's a lot of fun, especially um, if you get it for price. It's probably still available. Um, didn't come out that far that long ago, but in the the long run of things, this is uh, probably gonna be one of the pricier kits to get. So if you're gonna pick them up, do it when you can, when you can afford it, and. Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching and sitting through this marathon video with me. Um, if you made it all the way through, thanks. Um, appreciate it. Just say what's up. Say if you picked them up, if you like these or not. And I'll see you next time. Bye.